hi in this video i'll show how to request custom domain how users will request custom domain and how you can connect custom domain with your server so let's begin so first of all um, let's say the user has a custom domain customer.tattoo this is the custom domain and he wants to show his portfolio website in this custom domain so uh, he has let's say he has purchased a package which supports uh, support custom domain so he have to first of all he has to <coughs> request this custom domain here so the format will have to be customer.tattoo the domain only no http https www dot is allowed and basically if he does that the system will detect the format is wrong and will throw a message so he can request like that it will always throw a error so the customer have to or the user have to give the domain name only so after that if he sends the request it will show an error again because he didn't added any cname record for this domain the cname record is basically tell this <coughs> domain to point to your website which is profilo.xyz in my case so this is the website so his domain have to be uh, pointed to our uh, your business domain and for that he have to set cname record in his domain register panel from where he purchased this domain if he has purchased from namecheap then he have to log into namecheap and add cname record in his domain so in this error message it is said that you haven't added the cname record yet in your domain or if you had added the cname record you your propag dns propagation time is not completed yet so dns propagation is the time which takes by uh, which takes to set up the dns all over the internet which takes up to 72 hours but basically it happens between a few hours it doesn't take 72 hours it said here that uh, if you hadn't added the cname record yet then read this read before sending custom request section which is this section and this text can be uh, this text can be given by admin you can set up the text here so by default we have added some text and it is said there that you have to add cname record in your domain from your domain register panel which is namecheap or godaddy whatever and the cinema record data are given in the table below this is the data these data have to be added in your custom domain uh, in the user's custom domain to add a cinema record and let me show how we can add cinema records in the domain register so i have purchased this domain from namecheap account so i am going to uh, namecheap provider so i am going to Sin add cname record from the namecheap domain register panel so first of all log in to the domain register and after logging to the uh, namecheap domain register i have to go to the custom domain manage section this domain manage section and this have to be selected namecheap basic dns and after that the user have to click on advanced dns so this is completely done by user you don't have to do anything this will be done by user and he have to add a cname record from this section this is for a name chip if he purchase it from another domain register like godaddy then the interface will be completely different and if he cannot uh, find the cname record adding option in his domain register then please tell the user to contact his domain register which is namecheap or godaddy to find him the cname record adding option they the domain register support will help them to find it and this text uh, this message can be given here 
I have already we have already given this text that domain register interface is different so you have may need to contact the root domain register support to add the CRM record so let me get back to the namecheap account here I am going to add the CNAME record I have to select the CNAME record here and get the data from here this is type CNAME which I have selected already host is at the rate and the value is profiler.xyz dot the user cannot miss this dot this is very important at the rate and click on save so the dnm the cnm record has been added now this custom domain users custom domain will point to your business domain which is in my case profiler.xyz but if he goes to user dashboard and request this domain uh, in my case it has been sent but in the user's case it may not send immediately it will it still show the error message that the dns propagation have to be completed so after the dns propagation is complete he can send this request and this success message can be set up by admin from here the custom domain section request paste text and basically we have uh, set up this by default and we have said that we have received your custom domain please allow us to business desk to connect the domain the custom domain with your with our server so that means if the user visits his url it still doesn't show anything so we have to so you have to uh, add this in your hosting you will see this here in the admin dashboard all request <coughs> you will see an user has requested this custom domain the status is pending for now so go uh, copy this and go to your hosting go to add on domains in there you have to give the domain name and this subdomain will be added by default you cannot do anything about it here you have to give the project folder location so where you have installed the files so i have installed in the file manager <coughs> public html profiler.xyz so the path is basically home slash megasoft one slash public html slash profiler.xyz so let me give the location home slash megasoft one slash public html slash xyz now i will add this domain So I have added this domain after adding the domain you have to come back to the admin dashboard and change this status pending to connected so after changing the status it will send a mail to the user that the custom domain has been connected and you can set up the mail template you can set up the mail text basically from the mail templates and custom domain connected there <coughs> you can set up the text here which mail will which mail text will be shown to user so after i set this to connected and it will be available in the connected requests it will no longer be available in the pending request so i can go to another browser now and first of all clear the cache and let me enter the custom domain 
so you can see the user's portfolio website has been loaded in the custom domain so this is how you basically a user sends a custom domain request and admin accepts it uh, admin add this custom domain to hosting and then admin change the status to connected and basically after that the domain is domain can show the portfolio website so before that before sending the custom domain request the user must have to set the cname record in his custom domain register panel also he have to wait then uh, for the DNS propagation time to be completed before he sends the request so if the cust another thing is if the customer want to change his now this is requested domain it will be now current domain after re refreshing so if he wants to change this uh, let's say the custom domain in that case he will have to request his new custom domain so he will have to click on the request custom domain and enter his new custom domain and send request so after that the admin will receive the custom domain request in pending requests or in all requests as the status in pending so if the admin decides to connect the new custom domain request then he will must have to the admin will must have to search for the username and made make all the earlier custom domain request status to removed also he has to he have to remove the custom domain from his hosting from here the add-on domains this custom domain the previous custom domain will be removed also he will have to change the status to remove here and the newly requested one he will have to add the newly requested one to his hosting like i have shown earlier how he will add it as an add-on domain and he will change the status of the newly requested domain to connected so after that the customer dot tattoo the existing custom domain will be replaced with a new custom domain which is requested by user so i hope you have got the idea how to request custom domain and set it up with your hosting so thank you for watching